Good morning and welcome to my 200th pot anniversary. Yay! I'm pretending that there's balloons floating behind me and yeah, you know, all this stuff. Um, <laughs> most of all, welcome to Naturally Kim's Knitting. I'm Kim and this is my podcast all about knitting and spinning and dyeing of yarn, all of which I do right here in my home outside of Lima, Ohio. I want to welcome everybody today. Um, it's a rather gloomy day, but that's okay. We're at our 200th pot anniversary. Uh, that is amazing. That is amazing to me. Today is March 3rd, and this is episode, everybody, 200. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to get this in. I was sitting down to tape. And the doorbell rings. And it's my UPS man. So I sit down to tape again. And my phone rings. And nobody answered. So it must not have been important. But anyways. Um, I am all over the place online. I am. Well not all over the place. Actually I've cut back a little. But I am on Ravelry. My own page is Napier's Knits. And then we have a Naturally Kim's Knitting podcast group. Um, we also, you can also find me on Instagram as Nitten underscore Kim, and I'm forgetting something. Oh, YouTube blogger and WordPress is Naturally Kim's Knitting. See, I got myself so excited about the 200th pot anniversary. Um, we have a new friend. Isn't that wonderful for our 200th pot, pot anniversary? I want to welcome the Zencha, who is Ada from Croatia. And this is my first person from Croatia. So I'm excited. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We all are happy to have you here. And if you, if you find the time, people, just go um, underneath these show notes and welcome her because it would be so nice. We like having new friends. Okay. So we have the drawing for... Um, the February, I had to think what month it was, the February finished object knit along or craft along. And the two winners, I'm looking up my paper from back here. Two winners were I Now Hour and Asteroid. And they both got, gotten in contact with me. So um, they should have their prices, I think. Yes, they should have their prices. Okay, so we have it now open. Oh, I don't have, yeah. I have a new thread on Ravelry. I just don't have a link on um, Instagram yet. I will. Um, so I will announce that next week. So hold on to your finished objects and you'll post them next week on Instagram. Okay. Um, oh, if you want to take part in our March Knit Along, all you have to do is take a picture of your finished object, whatever it is, knitting, sewing, crocheting, woodwork, other crafts. Um, take a picture of it, post it under the thread on the Naturally Kin City podcast group, or I'll tell you more in a minute. Um, and if there's a pattern name, include that. You can also enter it on the show, no show notes on Blogger or WordPress, which are both under Naturally Kim's Knitting. I don't have the Instagram link up, like I said, but I will. Um, let's see. And the gifts, the, ch the prices to choose from are a $10 gift card from Nitpicks or Amazon or a giftable pattern from anywhere as long as it doesn't go over $10 value. Okay, then we have another knit along going along. Sorry, I got this glare and I can't get get rid of it. I hate holding my head like that. Um, Myla's Knit Corner Knit Along. That will end at the end of this month. Um, once again, if you're doing this, I mean, she has mittens, she has hats, she has scarves, she has shawls, all kinds of things. Um, if you're, if you want to enter that, take a picture of your finished object. You know what? Even if you haven't finished it by the end of the month, go ahead and take a picture, post it under um, the thread on Ravelry or on Instagram under hashtag NKKMYLA. Naturally Kim's Knitting, NKK, Myla. Or you could post it on, um, on WordPress or Blogger. The drawings for that will be on April 1st, just like the finished object. I close the thread when I get up April 1st, and I do the drawings. 
Okay. Woo! Well, I'm going to get to the 200th anniversary stuff later, so hang on. Okay? I have to show you what the UPS man brought them. This isn't on my needles. This isn't a finished object. I'm not thrilled with the insurance company that I have this time around. I'm just, they take so long to approve things and blah, blah, blah. But they do have for little things that you do, like they had you tracking either your exercise or your food for the last couple months. And if you do that, you got five points a day and then you could turn them in for prizes. Well, I decided I had more points than what this took. But I decided this sounded cool. They are stainless steel straws. And there's a set of four of them. And there's a cleaning brush. Isn't that something? There's the cleaning brush. I thought, I'm going to try that. I, in the summer, I use a lot of straws. This time of year, maybe once a week, I'll get a straw out or something. But I like these because... These are handy dandy. Anyways, that's not on my needles. It's not a finished object, but I wanted to show it before I forgot. Now, I think I know which one this is. Yep. I haven't touched these this week. I'll show you why in a minute. But these are my soup kitchen socks. The ones I, I do love these. Mermaid stripes. I do love these. But I just haven't worked on them this week. So these are my soup kitchen socks. I, I'm not going to make promises. I will try to get back to these this week, but I will show you why in a minute. I'll show you why right now. My daughter's socks, she blinded me with science. This sock especially, I worked on both of them. They're both past the heel. <laughs> but I'll hold it this way. Look at this. I mean, from the cuffs down through the leg, and I don't know if you can see that the top, the top of that heel has, or the top, the in, instep, whatever, has a design too. Then as you get to the toe, there's another design. I've been having fun with these when I've been feeling good. I haven't been feeling good every day. I, I told my husband, you tell when I don't feel good when I don't even pick up my knitting. And that's what happened. But this is made out of some of the Knit Picks duos. I like these. I like the way that, you know, you, you do have to buy two balls for a skein of yarn, for a pair of socks, but they work out pretty much the same. I made a pair of socks for my brother-in-law, Lauren, and uh, they were kind of like a black, gray, and white, and I put the black at the toe, and both socks ended up pretty much alike. They might have been off by a row or two, but that was it. Then, there went my show notes. Sorry about that. I just started this yesterday. It's another chemo cap. I've only got two rows done. So, but I'm working on that. I'm seeing how far I can get. This is amazing. This is the fourth chemo cap from the skein of Strawberry Trifle. Um, I should look at my other skein that I got like this and see if it has the same name tag on it. They may have mislabeled it. Um, but this is my fourth chemo cap from this uh, Cupcakes, uh, Corone, Yarnspiration Corone Cupcakes. And it said it's Strawberry Trifle. I've not seen Strawberry Trifle. <laughs> then... I've made partial progress on this. this. These are Tobias's socks. This one I haven't touched since last week. I do know that. This one I've been having fun with, though. I've decided I want it to grip, because he doesn't wear socks very often. But when he does, I don't want them to fall off when he's running. So I put a ribbed um, leg on it. Then I'll, this, this is a two-by-two two ribbing. Then when I get to the top, it'll be a one-by-one. One. So... These are his, out of the yarn that that I, I dyed it for him, but it's his favorite color, orange, with a little yellow in there, but you know, Kool-Aid dye. I love dyeing with Kool-Aid. It's so easy, so much fun. Then, let's see where to go next. 
Nope, that's the other. I haven't, I didn't touch this one since last week. Um, you blinded me with science. She blinded me with science, but I got that far. Do you know what's coming next? Shakespeare. Oh, that's a finished object. <laughs> Shakespeare in love. Look what I finished last week. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that gorgeous? Then this week, I've been working on the ribbing and I like this because I'm trying to make the hem or the bottom so it curves up so yeah I've got a few more rows of ribbing to do before I start on the pattern on the back which is a different pattern than the front the main pattern is so I'm looking forward to this yay I've been having fun knitting that when I've been feeling good where did I put the finished object? There it is. So that's everything that's on my needles, whether I've worked on them or not. And this is hat number three from that little cupcake of yarn. Now, there's not a lot of color variation in it, but that's okay. This one's smaller than the other two I've made, and then the one I've got on the needles right, right now is a little bit smaller because I want to make sure I have enough yarn for it. So... Yay! And besides which, kids' heads come in all different sizes. And I must say, this is soft yarn. I don't think anybody's going to have troubles with itchiness with it. I don't think so. I hope not. I, I really pray for those kids every time I make one. Okay, well. Nitpicks. You know I'm an affiliate. That means... When you place an order using one of my links, I get a couple pennies. Well, they're really tempting me. They're trying to see how many good sales of yarn can we have before we lure Kim back in. Because I've not had the money lately. They are having 40% off of over 250 skeins of sock yarn. I wish my kids watched this podcast. I would ask them, you could buy me a skein or two. Pick out the skein that you like and buy me, buy me one or two. They won't. They don't watch. I know they don't. Then, this is their monthly sale. Bear yarn, 20% off. Not yarn that's made from bear hair, but yarn that's um, not dyed. And it looks like they have roving in there too. I do like dyeing yarn. <laughs> My dog just woofed. I hope that's not leading to something. Sorry about that if she does. Then they have 20% off of their um, open stock needles. Oh, sorry, just a moment. She heard something. I don't know what. I think it was either, um, it would be wrong to have farming machinery going anywhere right now, but it almost sounded like that going down the road, which makes her excited. So let's see, is there anything else for me to talk about today? Hmm, what is that little thing that's happening? Pot of grocery prizes. Well, I have two winners. Try Linda and Handmade Studio 11. You both won. Now. The first one to respond gets the first choice. Then the second one gets whatever's left over. Well, my goodness, when I got up, I knocked things down. So Fiona was nice enough to um, let me know. This is called Wild, Wildflowers. This is the um, West Yorkshire Spinner yarn. I love this yarn. Great for making socks. It's wool and nylon, and it is so nice. Winner can choose that. 
or we have aqua and turquoise, I think, of the um, Women's Institute. This is 100% acrylic yarn, but it is soft, soft, soft. So the winner, you can choose one or both of those. Uh, we have this wonderful yarn. I know I don't say it right, and I apologize. Late lo late late Lopi, and this is Lopi yarn. So that's the name of it. And we have you could make a gradient. Let's see if I can do this this week. Last week I kept dropping them. You could have a gradient, get all four skeins, or you can get one, two, three of them. Um, we have a Heaven Blue Heather. That's nice. This is so all nice. Then we have a Fjord Blue. We have Ocean Blue. And we have Lapis Blue Heather. So you could choose one, two, three, or all four of those. The winner could. Winner could also choose Confetti 4-ply. This is by Peggy Mae Yarns. And this is an 80% superwash, 10% cashmere, 10% nylon. I wish, I wish you could feel how soft this yarn is. That cashmere, oh my goodness. So this is um, Peggy Mae and it's confetti. Okay. Then, you think that's it? Oh, no, no, no. This is the big deal. We have three knitting needles, um, nine inch, 23 centimeters, US 00 or 1.75 millimeter chow goo, which I do like these, I use these, or Addie's 2.5, I'm sorry, 2.0 millimeter, and I'm, I am so weird I didn't notice this is also 2.0 millimeter so you can have one two or all three of those so try Linda or handmade studios or I did add this last week if you would prefer you could have a ten dollar gift card to Amazon nitpicks or um, or get a giftable pattern for up to ten dollars in value so you don't have to just pick the yarn if you want to you can pick one of the others instead so, try Linda and Handmade Studio 11. You need to get in contact with me. I'm a little excited about this. I've been looking forward to this drawing for a little while. Anyways, what else have we been doing? Well, my father-in-law is still out in Connecticut. And his cat, so funny, he has made himself at home on the chair that I go to in the afternoon. He's not one that really would let me hold him before, but now he is. Cause I, when I get, when I sit in that chair in the afternoon to knit, you know, he, he can't be there too. So I don't know if, I don't know if I can aim the camera over there. Ah, he's over there on that chair. Right where that orange glass is, he's sitting on that chair. And then down here is my ginger snap. <laughs> and Purdy is in the bedroom. My camera will not go that far. I do know that. <laughs> anyway, so what have you guys been doing this week? Like I said, I've not been doing a whole lot. I didn't feel good over the weekend. But um, and then I was supposed to have a dentist appointment today, which would have been right now. But... Um, like I said, I wasn't feeling good Sunday, and yesterday I had chills still, so I thought, don't think I better go to the dentist when they're working in my mouth, and, I, you know, I may have a cold. <laughs> I've been following the coronavirus. I told my husband, I'm not even been around anybody, so I don't think I could have had, could get coronavirus. <laughs> but then Thursday, I go in for my MRI. Well, I also see the pain doctor in the morning. Then I go for my MRI in the afternoon. 
So <laughs> those I'm not too worried about. I, I, I'm not chilled today, so I'm hoping that my hair is just so funky today. I love how one side is so flat and then it fluffs up at the top. Anyways, um, what have you guys been working on? I get to see from Betsy Queen. Um, she has her podcast, podcast, um, not her podcast, her blog that I try to follow every week. And uh, so I get to see what she's made. But I don't get to see what you other people are making until you do a finished object. If you want to, you can put, put what you're working on underneath the show notes. That would be fine with me. Anyways, I don't think... I really don't have a whole lot more to talk about. I just really don't. I did get my favorite movie in the mail this week. Hans Christian Andersen. I see it sitting over there. I haven't watched it yet. I love Hans Christian Andersen with Danny Kay. I love most things with Danny Kay in it. So, <laughs> Anyways, I should probably let you guys go. I know I'm just going on and on right now. Book reviews. I did review a book on um, weaving. I don't weave myself, but this book was tempting enough that it would make me want to. There's a link um, on my blogger, Naturally Kim's Knitting um, pe page, where it will take you right to the book on Amazon. Otherwise, I really think that's it. I can't think of anything else. I know I'll, I'll get off and I'll think of a million things. Anyways, I hope you guys have a very successful crafting week. I hope that all of your all of your craftiness goes without a hitch, without any mistakes. But if you do make a mistake, I hope they're little ones. I love you all. Big hugs as much as I can. And I will talk to you next week on episode 201. Bye-bye. <laughs>